Hello and welcome back to the Stay Sure Wellbeing YouTube channel. I'm Dr Dawn Harper and today I'm going to talk about travelling with sciatica. The sciatic nerve is a long nerve that comes out from the lower spinal column and wends its way through the lower back through the building blocks which are the vertebrae and down the back of the leg. It can get compressed by a slipped disc or sometimes by arthritic change in the spine and that can cause really quite severe pain in the lower back often radiating to the buttock and down the back of the leg and patients with sciatica often tell me that sitting when the sciatic nerve is, is at its most stretched is the most uncomfortable. In fact quite often if I invite a patient in and say do take a seat they'll say to me actually do you mind if I stand it's really uncomfortable to sit. And of course, when you're traveling, you will be doing some more sitting than normal. So you may want to have a little think about the type of holiday that might be more appropriate. For example, flying might restrict you more. If you are going to fly, then think about things like luggage on wheels so you're not carrying heavy loads and perhaps asking for an aisle seat so that you can get up and move around the plane during the flight. But you know, if you're struggling with sciatica, maybe this year is the time to think about something like a ferry holiday where you've got more ease of access to walk around the ferry whilst you're traveling or perhaps even a self-drive where you can plan your own stops and you can change things at short notice should you become very uncomfortable. If you have sciatica please do check that it is safe for you to travel with either your GP or if you're under the care of an osteopath, physio or chiropractor, they will be able to give you some advice, not just on the safety of your travel, but also exercises that you can do. And they may even have special cushions and so on that you might be able to use whilst you're traveling to make you more comfortable. As always, before you travel, make sure that you have plenty of medication to cover any delays or also any flares, because if you're taking painkillers, it may be that sometimes you need to take more when you're in more pain. And if you're on very strong painkillers that, that are part of what we call controlled drug family, then important that you get the official documentation from your GP so that when you arrive in your country destination, you can prove that those drugs are for your own use. So just check whether or not the drugs that you're on are controlled both here in the UK and they may be slightly different in the country of destination. As always, please take a list of everything that you take, both the trade and generic name. So should you need more whilst you're away, you can ask a local doctor. And if you know the generic name, then if that drug has a different name in that country, they will still know what it is that you're on. When you're traveling, you will need to think a little bit ahead. You know, it took me years, I don't have sciatica, but it took me years to be sensible about uh, the clothing that I wore when I was traveling. I always traveled in my high heels and my work gear. Uh, I am now that lady in the flatties and my sloppy joes and I'm comfortable. Uh, but joking apart, if you struggle with sciatica, then comfortable clothing, I think, is a really important thing to, to consider before you leave. Um, listen, I hope, you know, sciatica I know can be really miserable. Uh, I've seen a lot of patients over the years who have really struggled. I don't think we really think very much about our backs until they start to go wrong. But our backs work hard all day keeping us upright. Uh, and if you've got problems with your back, be it a slip disc or some arthritic change that's irritating that sciatic nerve, then it can be, I know, really miserable. But I hope you do manage to get away. I hope you manage to have that well-deserved and longed for holiday that has been a little amiss, I think, in 2020 and that you stay safe and stay well. If there are other questions that you'd like to ask or other topics that you'd like me to talk about here on this channel, then please do message me or email me anonymously on the website. But until then, stay well and I'll see you again soon.